Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing clean architecture. Why we need clean architecture and what's the benefit of using clean architecture. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit a notification icon. Let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Fetiber.com. If you are in Australia and want to buy a painting of mountains and Lord Buddha, please go to Fetiber.com and buy from them. And they have a very good service as well. Now, you might have heard about clean architecture in many different ways. Hexagonal architecture, onion architecture, and port and adapter architecture. They are all same, they work in same concept. But with concept from Uncle Bob Mark, he has synchronizes everything from all other architecture. Now, what's the benefit of using clean architecture? In clean architecture, the codes are testable, maintainable, and easily configurable with third parties dependencies. Like for example, if you have started a project with MS SQL as a database. Now you want to switch to the Postgres SQL or MongoDB SQL. The infrastructure layer is only dependent on external service. Now you're gonna twist only this layer with dependency. There are no other changes in core layer, share layer, API and UI. So there is only one line of code changes with whatever database you're gonna use with all those configurations. So that's the main benefit of uh, clean architectures. Your external dependencies are not fully dependent on core, shared, and API. So maintainable and testable makes very easy and twisting to different services is very easy for code changes as well. Now let's see how we are gonna structure our code with Micronaut in Java application. So in my previous tutorial, if you haven't checked about deep dive into Micronaut, I will put a link in a video descriptions, then you can have a check. Micronaut is a latest JVM framework that is very lightweight for microservice architectures. They are developed on the basis of cloud native. So if you are developing an application for Kubernetes, Docker, and serverless applications, and the Micronaut is a very well suited for those applications. So let's now, we will create a project structure of clean architecture with Micronaut in Java application. Now let's open IntelliJ and we will create a Gradle multi-module project. So just click on the new project. Uh, just I will give a project name as discount. I will create a microservice uh, applications tutorial soon. So we will be using the same project. That's why I'm giving a name as discount. So that will be an e-commerce project. That's why our discount module will be over there. So I'm just giving a project name as discount. So I will choose Java. You can use Kotlin, Groovy, or JavaScript, whatever you want, but we will use Java for here. And I will select a build system as Gradle with Java 17 and DSL as Groovy. You can either use Kotlin or Groovy, it's up to you, but I will use Groovy for this one. Just I will change a group ID to fetty.bird. Let's create all this one. So if we see, this is a Gradle project with all the default Java application. So on the source, there is a Java file. So this is a Gradle project. So I will be deleting this one. We no longer need this one. And we don't need a build.gradle file for this one as well, since we will have other modules on this one. So we will not use a Gradle file for this one. However, we will have this settings.gradle file as well. So we need this one for the build process. So now let's add uh, different modules. Now for the clean architectures, as I have already explained, it has API, 
infrastructure layer, core and cell. Now let's create a core first. So core will be another Gradle project. So I will just click new and add a module and it will be called core. And I will use again Java, Java 17, Groovy, and just change this group ID to fetty.pod. So if you check on this settings.gradle file, now it has included a cool project. So this is the base settings for this Gradle file and whatever the uh, inner modules you're gonna add, it will all be inside the settings called Gradle. So if you want to remove, you can remove from here and the module will not be included on this setting.gradle. So just sync over here. So same way we will create our infrastructure layer and a shared layer as well. So right click on this one, add a new module. Again, I will give this as a shared module, Gradle, Java 17 and Groovy. We will add again our infrastructure layer. So if we check again, settings.gradle it has now included those two projects now let's add our infrastructure project i will use again java gradle and groovy as a dsl now if we go to the clean architecture diagram, we have not included API for now, but we have included infrastructure, core, and share. So let's create an API with Micronaut application. So if I go to micronaut.launch, so I will use a Micronaut application, but you can use a different kind of applications, whatever suits you. So I am creating a Micronaut application and remember for the later videos, whatever I will create, this application will be a microservice of one of the discount module. So I am using a latest version 3.5.3 with Java 17 and just give a name as discount API. And I will use a base package as fetty.bird now, Micronaut is a cloud native microservice architecture application. So it has built in support for service discovery, load balancing or Kubernetes, Docker supports all the things. So we will add a couple of feature for this one. So we will as a we will be using a reactive application. We'll be use projector. So project.reactor is the uh, a reactive library on this one, but you can use Rx, Java, or any other preferred one, whichever you feel. But Micronaut uh, recommend you to use Reactor as a reactive library. Then we will use console as a um, service discovery. Then we will use Jipkin as a tracing. Then we will use JWT security. Then let's do it uh, done. And we will generate a project using the command. So I just can copy this one and I can go back to my terminal, create this one. Now the, I'm using a CLI. So if you can see MN create app but I don't remember lots of CLI codes. So I just select whatever feature I want from here and just while generating, I use the command to do that. Now let's see again in IntelliJ, I can see this discount API is over here, but it's not been added as a module. So you can see over here on the Gradle, there is no module of discount API. So even if I sync this one, it will be not.
So let's add module from the existing source. So just I will select this one and it will import a Gradle project for me. This project on the main settings dot Gradle file. So if I do here include and if I sync the project now you, you can see I can use a multi service as well. So leave this one. So you can see this now discount uh, API has been added inside the discount module, but this was previous. We can remove this one. So if we sync again and like build a project, everything should be fine. So now let's see how we can add a dependency of each project to each application. So as we can see in clean architecture, if you go back here, now API is dependent on core, infrastructure is also dependent on core, and core is dependent on share. Now let's add a core, uh, now let's add a shared to the core dependency. Core, so we will need to add a share project over here. So we'll add implement, then project, then the name of the project. So name of the project which is shared. So we'll do here. So remember we need to add a colon if you are doing a multi-module project and because it cannot find the path. So let's sync the project. So it syncs successfully, we can see. The same way we need we can also add infrastructure which is dependent on core so let's go to the infrastructure project build that cradle so over here so we will add here again implement project and the name of the project it should be colon so it's core so let's sync again this one it's all done so we have added infrastructure a core dependent on infrastructure and say dependent on infrastructure. Let's, we will add a core to the API. So we will go back to the API, it's Micronaut application. So build.gradle, so over here, we will add a core dependency. Implement project, then it should be core. So let's sync this one it's all succeeds. So if we check again the clean architecture, we have not created any UI application. This will be a single page application using React or Angular. But in my video tutorial, I will be creating an Angular application uh, on UI part. So we have structure our code. If we check our code, so this is the clean architecture structure. We have core, uh, core is dependent on API and infrastructure is dependent on API and a shared is dependent on core. So this is the clean architecture project structure using Micronaut in Java application. In the next tutorial, we will do some core changes on each layer and we will add all the components, what goes inside the core, what goes inside API, infrastructure, and share, and how the infrastructure will be communicated to the external dependencies, such as database or any third-party services. Thank you for viewing my content.